Hello guys, you're on varem24.com YouTube channel, name is Vadim and today we are going to disassemble the smartphone Realme Narzo 50A. The smartphone also has the tech number RMX3430. We rate the disassembly in terms of difficulty as easy or one gear in our classification and we will start by opening the back cover. At very beginning we take a special tool and pull out the tray for two SIM cards and a memory card. So it doesn't interfere with us. We open the back cover with a special opening tool. We can use a spudger or other plastic tools. As always be careful around the edges where the cover is held tight. By the way the fingerprint sensor is not glued to the back cover so one less problem. Moving on to unscrewing the screws, take a Phillips 1.5mm or hash 3 o screwdriver and unscrew 11 screws. These screws are the same size, I can say for sure if they're all magnetic or not, but put them somewhere in the correct order just in case. And one screw has a warranty sticker, which means that the smartphone has not been disassembled before us. By the way, this also means that after our repair, the smartphone will lose the right to warranty service. Now we insert the tool into the gap between the cover and the frame of the display model and detach the cover. This cover hides the printed circuit board and protects it from any damage. We disconnect the battery connector with non-metal tool. I have said once, answering the question that theoretically it can be done with anything, there is a white platform, but we ourselves are responsible for our repair. We will make a mistake and a short circuit. So, my recommendation is to use only non-metal tools. Now we can remove the battery. It is glued to a special film, which in turn protects the display model cable and the interboard cable. The battery is glued tight, so we need to peel it off carefully, so as not to damage anything. Unscrew the screws at the bottom, there are 9 of them, use a Philips 1.5mm or hash 3 o screwdriver. One screw also has a warranty sticker.
We remove the loudspeaker assembly, we hook the edge and pull slowly up. Be careful and do not stick anything sharp under the speaker where its pad with the contacts is made in the form of a cable, you can easily damage it. Disconnect the connectors of coaxial cable and interboard cable. We hook the edge and pull out the subboard. It might be glued slightly with adhesive. On the subboard we have a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port, a headphone jack socket. On the reverse side we have contacts for vibration motor and for the loudspeaker flat cable. Let's move on to the motherboard. We disconnect the connector and remove the fingerprint sensor. Nothing holds it on the motherboard shield. Disconnect the coaxial cable connector and bend it away from the motherboard. Disconnect the interboard cable connector and display model cable. This one cable for display and touchscreen. We hook the edge and try to remove the motherboard. Please note that the thermal paste is applied in the area of the processor. From the inside, it will hold the motherboard. On the motherboard, we have a proximity sensor, contacts for an RP speaker, a holder for SIM cards and memory cards. Now we can detach the cameras. We remove the front camera, it is traditionally slightly glued with a copper film, kind of of part of the heatsink system. We detach the three rear cameras. Ok, now we're done. If you have already watched to the end, then please consider subscribing to our channel and thank you for watching. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.